I, I, I started changing everything. I started, I, I, I had a bunch of fake friends. I had people that I just, they weren't fake, but they just, they just wanted what they wanted and it wasn't in line and I had to kind of babysit everybody and I just cut off all the excess energy and I remember I just decided like I can create what I want to create. I don't have to, I don't have to do anything that don't feel right for me. And it was the first time that I really like expressed my own individuality and I, and I, and I made major changes and it changed everything. I just needed to let my old self go. I was purging multiple different things but it was specifically how I, who I was then. I would like to say that this is a fresh start. Why have I been away for over a year from YouTube? Right. So guys, um, I've been thinking about like all the things that I want to mention in this video for months now. I even at some point wrote down a list of just reasons why I've actually been away because I myself didn't know and this video is basically a um talk through of what i've been going through over the past going through over the past year and yeah let's get into it <laughs> okay so when i first basically removed myself from the youtube space it wasn't intentional to be honest i was editing my videos myself when i first got onto youtube and then at some point i had help from other videographers and you know it's difficult if your videographer is not entirely dedicated to your content so because you become inconsistent obviously they are not only just making money through you they're making money through other individuals as well like collaborating on other campaigns um working with brands as well they then have to prioritize the campaigns which they feel are going to help them grow and that's what happened and so i found myself like moving to content that was improving in terms of quality but then i couldn't maintain that and that was really frustrating for me i am someone that is very very like intense when it comes to like quality especially over the past like two years and i think you guys will see that if you follow me on instagram um because that's my main platform so that's where you mainly see like the content that i'm working on so i've become very very strict on the type of quality that my content is to be when i do post it after my content had improved in terms of quality and then to think about the fact that it was now going to go back to what it was before just felt like I was moving backwards in terms of um, what I was delivering, you know? So that's the first reason. The other, and I think that all of us were going through, or at least most of us were going through like similar emotions, was just feeling like you're in a cycle um but this cycle like it's never ending i was so frustrated by it it was never ending emotionally i just wasn't feeling okay like for the first for most of 2020 i was fine because i was pushing on my mental well-being was fine as well but once 2021 was like yeah i was then just like no man we can't do this again for another year and it was another year of just going through this like turmoil and being stuck in a cycle um so that was really frustrating for me and i felt like i had to remove myself from the social media space and um focus on me being fine before i can focus on before i can let other people have access to just my space my energy my time the third reason is because the third, I don't know how to phrase this well, but the third reason is because I didn't want my content. I felt like my content was becoming stagnant and I wasn't creating the type of content or had the means to create the type of content that I want to put out. Um, obviously, we're stuck at home, so there wasn't much that we could do. You know, we couldn't travel much. We definitely couldn't travel abroad for the most part, unless it was a work related thing and um it's just like means of having fun was limited you know so what are vlogs gonna be is it gonna be me waking up and then i'm going to bed and i'm eating in between and i'm napping if there's a campaign then i'm doing that like it was just like i felt 
bored by the potential of having vlogs that looked like that or content that was around just like mundane life um so yeah so that was another reason the other is that i obviously um if you follow me on socials follow me on instagram if you don't i started a new business called glaze home decor and the reception was amazing but when i started the business i was on my own so i really had to like tune in into it and um get my bearings you know i think it's important if you're going to start something like really invest yourself in it and put your all in it and don't like half assets you know like i just i'm not that person um and i really feel like now like now i have help within the business so i feel like it's it gives me room for me to do other stuff and like come back to youtube and um, open my life up more to you guys because then I can do like more fun things when other people are doing like all the admin stuff, you know um, So yeah, that's been great and Yeah, I think when I think about the content that I now want to project onto YouTube or upload onto YouTube It is things that are surrounding home decor. I moved into a new home my first home um, which I'm very very excited about and I'm very very grateful for but I've been in the process of Decorating it and all of that and obviously renovations as well So I want to show more of that side of my life to you guys on social media and especially on YouTube I've shown it on Pinterest and I've been showing it on Instagram as well But obviously since I haven't been on YouTube you guys haven't seen that um, in video format so I want to um, show more of that part of my life. I also want to show more uh, projects that Glaze Home Decor is involved in. So look out for that. And then obviously day-to-day -day stuff like makeup. I'm still a makeup girl. I'll always be a beauty babe. Um, so makeup and skincare, absolutely. Uh, when it comes to makeup and skincare, there's some really cool stuff happening for me this year. So I hope you guys are going to embrace that more. I also need to give a shout out to you guys for just being um, so amazing in how you received my collaboration with Scarlet Hill last year. It was insane. Like it did so, so, so well. And all the reviews that I saw were all good. I didn't even see one bad review. Um, and so like I just feel so blessed for your support. And I hope you guys continue to support like my endeavors this year. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the content that's to follow on YouTube. I'm so, so happy to be back. And I'll see you in the next first official video. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video um, if you want to continue to see more of my content. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. And I'm so glad that you're here and we're back and we're doing this. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>